Hi, Gemini. This is Nayla Latrice. I am here to do your January 2021 read. Happy, happy new year. I hope everyone has had a blessed year thus far. Um, the message that I got for you was keep going. So there could be something that you feel like giving up on and spirit is telling you don't give up. Keep going. All right. All right. So we are going to jump right into your read. I just got done telling Scorpio this, but I want to tell y'all too, you've got this. Some of you guys may have Scorpio in your chart. Um, if you do, go and watch their video. Gemini, y'all cutting people off. Y'all said, fuck the bullshit. And just so y'all know, I do cuss, and I'm tired of not cussing. It's just a part of who I am. I don't want to cuss a whole lot, but it's just part of who I am, you know, so, but it's just how I kind of emphasize, so if that offends you, then you can click off, it's okay, but yeah, y'all cutting motherfuckers off, <laughs> y'all cutting people off, I feel like some of you guys may have had a fight with somebody, and it was an ego issue, your ego, their issue, but ego is definitely involved, and you said, I'm focused on me and I have to take care of me. And I feel like cutting this person off or cutting these people off because there's two people in this picture um, that have been cut off. Uh, I feel I feel it hurts you. It hurts you to have to do this, but you had to do what was best for you, Gemini. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. Spare, what messages do you have for Gemini? What messages do you have for Gemini for January 2021? All right. Those same people that you cut off, they're watching you though. Mm hmm there's some type of decision that you have to make there's all swords we have the five of swords the two of swords and the page of swords there's a decision that you have to make that is coming up you're at a crossroads i feel like because you're because you've cut these people off now you're at a crossroads on what you're needing to do next on what life is going to look like now that you've cut these people off i feel like these people you have cut off are very significant to you and they are watching and we have the six of cups they're emotional about you cutting them off and they want to come back around they want to come back around but best believe they watching you they saying what you're going to do next so be methodical, be strategic, because the haters are watching. Mm -hmm. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Geminis for January 2021? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Can't make this up. They're definitely going to come back around. They're coming back around, but I don't think you're going to take their offer. I feel like whatever it is, it's like, nah, it's, it's a day late and a dollar short. You're focused on your future. You don't want it. Whatever they're offering you, you don't want it. I feel like deep down, you kind of want it because there may have been some type of attachment or some type of friendship or whatever the case may be. However, you know this is not good for you. So you're doing what? You're doing everything you can to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's what that message is for. Keep going. Yeah. They're feeling left out in the cold. I feel like y'all just said, y'all just cut it. The spirit is saying, keep going. Mm -hmm. Let's get a good shuffle here. All right. Couldn't even shuffle. We have the five of wands that has popped out. You were definitely in a battle. And I feel this person, they're battling with the fact that you cut them off. They hate that they got cut off. I feel like they want to work things out with you. That's what I'm getting. I feel like they want, they want to come back and apologize. Again, it was ego. It was ego. So, Gemini, depending on what this was actually about, them offering you... Uh, to them coming back to you. I feel like this could be some type of peace offering. You know how bad the situation was or what, um, why you needed to cut them off. It is going to be up to you to accept their cup, to accept their peace offering. You can hear them out if you want to. Of course, you're going to do what you want to do. There's nothing wrong with hearing them out 
hearing what they have to say if they want to apologize or whatever um you can be open to that if you choose to be but it doesn't mean that you have to accept them back but it may also lead to a conversation that will help you to really understand uh what was what this battle and what was really going on i feel like there's some things that were not really said and that's what has caused the cut off to happen and i feel like this person may be coming back around to share with you what they were actually hiding um and it's not that it was negative it's nothing that is nothing that's bad i feel like it was something that they could have been battling within themselves and uh they they did not share with you and uh you had to cut it off so there could have been some type of secret feelings that they felt for you and you were thinking that they didn't have feelings or something like that. Or um, it could have been that somebody was just withholding some type of important information. You didn't, you don't know this. It's not that you knew this, but you just know that they were acting funny or they weren't treating you how you know that you needed to be treated. So you just, you cut it off. And now I feel like they're going to be coming back around towards you. All right. Yeah, King of Wands could be dealing with an air sign. I really don't like uh, mentioning signs. Um, did I say air sign? <laughs> Fire sign. This person is coming back determined. They're coming back uh, passionate. This person, they want to work this out with you. They're determined. They look at look at look at their face. Look at how they're focused forward, and look at how that fist is balled on the side next to their to the red pants. They want, they, they're like, it's almost like they're frustrated. They're frustrated because they know that they have to speak up and say what it is that they need to say. Yeah, can't make this stuff up. We have the Ace of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. They're very passionate about you. Um, I try to keep these reads general as possible, but this for sure seems like this could be some type of love read. However, this person is coming back uh around and they want to offer you something very passionate some type of relationship even possibly i do feel like it would flourish depending on why you cut them off and depending on the conversation that they come back around with but i do feel like they uh they do have good intentions for some of you guys you need to keep going but i also feel by you keep it by you keep going is going to allow them to realize that you were serious and that's what's going to make them come back around so again it's up to you to decide if it's a day late and a dollar short because you know what uh what is going on within your specific situation again this is just a general read but I don't feel anything negative. The only thing negative that I feel, um, which is not negative at all, is that you guys had some type of disagreement and some type of battle. We know that you've cut them off and that this person is kind of frustrated. They're determined, but they, it's like a frustrated determination because they just want to get to you. They just want to get to you. Yeah, look at this. Everything is fine, though. You're good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's pull one more. Let's pull one more. Spirit, what messages? Oh, 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 oh. I'm not going to take that. Spirit, what messages do you have? All right. Yeah, they're coming towards you. They want a brand new start. They're trying to figure out how to come back towards you. So this person, it may take this person a little bit of time to come back towards you. I see this as two ways. This is you moving forward. You're focused on moving forward, but this is also this person wanting to come back around and they're trying to figure out, it's almost like they're studying you or they're thinking about, okay, would, would he or she want this or would he or she want me to do that? Or what are the perfect words to say that is going to uh, prick your heart or prick your soul? So they're, 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 they're determined and they're, they're really thinking, you can't make this stuff up. They want to rush in. With this Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. do you? This person is determined. They are determined to get you back, Gemini. I don't know what type of... I don't know what type of... I want, don't judge me. I don't know what type of WAP y'all got. <laughs> That's for the men too. I don't know what y'all's to be called. But you know, hey. Or what's going to happen if this is a love situation. And maybe you haven't slept with them. It's a joke. Don't be so serious. However, yeah, <laughs> they want you. They want you, Gemini. They coming back. All right, let me pull a oracle for you guys. At the bottom, we have gifts. They may be coming bearing gifts. Oh, okay, hold on just a second. All right, so the first card we got out is poverty. 
And then the next card we have out is Journey. So what I feel like this person, one, may be far from you or may be a distance from you. Excuse me. And they may have to travel towards you. But I also feel like this is you packing up your stuff and you're moving on with your life. Or you feel like you want to go on some type of adventure or some type of, you want to do some type of travel, even just to clear your mind. You may just want to do a quick uh, trip or a quick getaway somewhere. But I feel this is kind of like, this person feels left out in the cold. This is almost giving me the five of pentacle vibes. By you leaving them, they feel like you just left them out. They feel like they're nothing. They feel like they need you in their life or either this is how they feel. They feel impoverished. They feel like mal malnourished and like you were feeding them their energy your energy is what they needed your energy kept them alive almost and they need that back otherwise it's like they have nothing and they feel like well if i don't have gemini i might as well you know just be in this five of five of um uh, pentacles energy or this poverty type energy until i get my gemini back you know so i don't feel like they're sad or anything like that um they are sad but i i do feel this is more so this is their overall energy that they just feel left out in the cold and they feel like they have nothing if they don't have you so all right gemini i am going to leave it there until next time bye